Do fish lay the slimy smackdown on you when you try to catch them? If that's the case, then we are definitely going to turn that around in this episode of Get Good Fucks. If this is your situation, don't worry. Most people are not super great at the fishing minigame at first, and I've got three strategies that are going to help you get better so you can catch fish more reliably and ultimately get those legendary fish. What are these strategies? Well, the first one is how to reduce the difficulty of the fishing minigame. You can do it, no mods, no exploits, no glitches. There's actually stuff you can do in-game to make the minigame less challenging, make the fish less evasive. But uh, none of that is going to matter if you can't get the hang of number two, which is mastering the fishing bar. Your success in fishing is made or broken on the fishing bar's green angular surfaces. Which leads us to the third strategy. A selection of handpicked fish by me of a medium to early high difficulty. Training against difficult fish is the way to get good. But enough of these shenanigans, it's time to start getting good with... So, how do you do it? Well, there are three things that you can do. The first is to level up your fishing skill. Every single time it goes up, the size of the fishing bar gets a little bit bigger, and the fish will naturally become a little bit less evasive. And what you want to do is combine that with a better fishing rod. Just like leveling up your fishing skill, whenever you move to a better fishing rod, the bar gets a little bit bigger and the fish become a little bit less evasive. It might not seem like it makes that much of a difference, but that's only because the increment is small and over time. When you go down from a position of high skill and having a better rod back to a new character, you will definitely notice that your fishing bar is really small and that the fish are more difficult to catch. Now, you might be thinking, hey, GGF, I'm already trying to level up and I'm already getting a better rod. There's got to be more to it than this. And fortunately, there is. A really quick way to reduce the difficulty of the fishing minigame is to use a trap bobber. The trap bobber is first available at level 6, and it costs 1 copper and 10 sap to make. On top of this, it is a type of tackle, which means it cannot be attached to any rod except the iridium rod. What the trap bobber does is... When a fish is successfully beginning to get away from you, the progress bar to catching it will drop at a much slower pace, making it essential for catching difficult fish. It's not going to help you against the low-level fish, though, because you're probably going to get a perfect against them anyways. So in these cases, I would recommend either not using tackle or throw on something like a lure just so that you can catch the fish quicker. And that's how you can reduce the difficulty of the fishing minigame. Let's talk about probably the most important thing, which is getting the hang of the fishing bar. When you attempt to catch the most extreme difficulty of fish, some amount of luck does come into play, but you still need to have a good control over the fishing bar in order to stand any chance at catching these fish. So the thing about the bar is that it has a weight and a momentum to it, which means it does not stop on a dime, and it's constantly sinking. And there's three basic movements for fishing. The first one is maintaining the basic elevation of the bar, and you accomplish this by tapping it repetitively. Tap and get the hang of how long you need to press the button down to reel it in just enough to have it kind of bounce gently up and down and follow or track the fish's direction. The second movement is a dynamic push or a dynamic drop. Some fish will dart all the way up to the top and then all the way back to the bottom, and you need to be ready to either let go of the bar or slam the reel command and just chase after that fish. The catch is you must also prevent the bar from slamming to the bottom of the meter because it will bounce. So as it falls, you have to get the hang of how early you need to push the button in order to slow its momentum and let it fall down at the very end easily. 
But if you press it too early, you will slow the momentum of the bar and the fish is going to outrun you. Now, I can already hear it. Oh, but GGF, we already know these things. It's obvious that you have to track the fish's movement. Well, here is the third technique. You have to learn the tendencies of the fish, their personalities, and identify them because the highest level fish are best caught through anticipation. What this means is you want to learn the personality, the swimming patterns of the different fish and have an idea of what they're going to do. This is most easily understood from the extremely high level fish because they have a tendency to shoot all the way up to the top or sink all the way to the bottom. And then the moment the fishing bar touches them, they streak off in the total opposite direction. Anticipation means knowing that this is a likely thing to happen and you do not fully commit to chasing them. You're chasing them, but you are ready to just slam the button and either reel all the way back up to the top or you're chasing all the way up to the top knowing that there is a good chance it's going to fall all the way to the bottom. So you're ready to let go of the button, let it sink down, and then you're ready to catch it again and not allow it to bounce at the bottom of the fishing gauge. When you combine all three of these together, being able to maintain the relative elevation of the bar, knowing how to fire all the way up or sink all the way to the bottom of the fishing gauge without letting it bounce and slam on the bottom, and then also begin to memorize and sense the patterns of fish, then that is what's going to allow you to get mastery over the bar, and you're going to start reeling in fish very efficiently. In this section, I'm going to tell you a few fish that I want you to go after to train against. These fish are of the kind of upper mid-range to low high range in terms of difficulty, so they are not going to just let you catch them, but they're also not the most difficult fish in the game. This is the only way to get good. You learn and then you practice. You're learning right now, and now you're going to go practice. So let's get started. The first fish I want you to train against is the pike. It has a difficulty rating of 60 out of 110, so it's about a medium level fish. It's caught in the river anytime in summer and winter. The reason this fish is so good is because it's not outrageously difficult and you're quickly going to understand the feel of the fish. It has a very unique wobbling motion as it attempts to evade you and that's what you're going to get the hang of the idea of getting a fish's personality and swimming pattern down. The next fish you want to train against is either the catfish or the sturgeon. The catfish has a difficulty rating of 75 out of 110, so it's decently difficult. It only appears in the rain, and it's available in mainly spring and fall. It's also worth a decent amount of money. You'll need it for the river fish bundle in the community center, and it's also one of Willie's favorite gifts. So there's a lot of reasons to catch a catfish. The sturgeon, on the other hand, is a pinch harder. It's a 78 out of 110. You can catch it in the mountain lake through the hours 6 a.m. to 7 p.m. in the summer and the winter. It's also worth 200 gold, and it also is used in completing the lake fish bundle for the community center. So it's also definitely a fish worth catching. Now let me introduce you to your final training partner, and that's going to be the Ling Cod, coming in at a difficulty rating of 85 out of 110, which means it's actually a little bit harder than the easiest legendary boss fish. You can catch it any time of the day, in the river, or the mountain lake, but only in the winter season. And let me tell you, if you can catch these guys regularly, then you're definitely a good fisherman. There are harder fish than the Ling Cod, but that is an excellent benchmark to be at. All right, I've equipped you with the knowledge of how to get good at fishing, and now you need to take this and convert it into actions and practice your fishing skill. But before you do go train, tell me down in the comments section, which of these three strategies are you going to use first? Are you going to focus on reducing the difficulty of the minigame by leveling up and getting better rods? Are you going to focus on trying to control the fishing bar better? Or are you going to go straight up against the fishing training partners that I recommended? Regardless of whatever methods you try, I definitely hope you get good. And I also hope you'll subscribe to my channel because you don't have to be good to get good. And this is where getting good happens.